What's going on YouTube? Roxas D. Torter, and today we are bringing you a Pokemon merchandise video again. Because last time we did the opening of, what was it? Um, yeah, Cynthia. So, I, how am I forgetting already? We only did like one update. Well, what, update. Um, opening rather. So, yeah, I got this pack of things from somebody on Facebook, right? Because I joined this group. This group. Uh, recently and there have been a lot of interesting people on the group and stuff we everyone had like an intro uh, post and they all had different things that they do like me I told them I do YouTube and whatnot with Pokemon and stuff and how I'm um pretty much just getting more into my childhood in terms of Pokemon related stuff and I saw some people selling stuff on there some use some people who some use and some new stuff but mostly like there's people who make things too so people there are some people who make things which i will have in the future i'll have some more um merchandise videos with those type of things in the future and i can give you links to them and stuff so right now we're gonna take this off and see what we can do here i don't know if the if what's in here is all over the place i hope it's not but i'll try my best to um how you say what i used last time to open a box i think it was keys <laughs> well I'll see what happens when I open the box. Let's see if this if it's all over the place. Okay, well. Awesome, okay. So there's bubbles, bubble wrapping to um Oh, this is gonna be quite the thing to do right here right here. Um so we're gonna so we like take pieces out one by one? Okay. So Okay. What we have here is a box full of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, I believe, uh, figures. So the first one I took out was Chatot. I kind of want to do, um, I was thinking of doing reviews with them, not reviews, but, um, how would I say, like Pokedex entries with them. So I might actually do that. I should have a window up on the side. I should have put up a window so I could, like, search up Pokemon related stuff. But you know what? I could just grab my 3DS and do, like, Pokedex intro uh, entries from. Oh snap, from X, uh, Oras, or Mega Ruby, now Sapphire, and so see, this is a chat top figure, as you guys can see, um, he's missing his bottom piece, so his piece is probably somewhere in the box, Ugh. I'm gonna grab my 3DS, and probably do some entries, some of them, I won't do all of them, because I feel like that'll be like way too much, to do like in one, just like one shot, and as you guys can see, I actually have like the limited edition X and Y, um, 3ds when it first came out i got it so we're gonna check it check up on chat and chat is on the pokedex and its number is are we on it yeah there we go chat number is 441 and it says chat is the music note pokemon it can learn and speak human words if they gather if they gather they all learn the same saying that's crazy and it's a normal and flying type and the height is i guess one and one um one and eight inches and his weight is 4.2 pounds so that's interesting i'm gonna leave my 3ds right here so i can look up other stuff um i would like to find the other piece of chat but that's gonna be kind of like crazy to find in this in this box i just poured it all out oh my god um if there's a piece that looks like irregular then i'll be able to determine what that is um oh you know what no there's no piece missing i think it's just for um gp like you could just put it on something easy oh yeah it's easy to stand up on i'm a fool so anyway we have chat tie here um next up we're gonna grab somebody random awesome so we have starly starly is one of the first pokemon you see in the game actually from like route 201 and route 201 Two, I believe like Starly's on both routes right so we're gonna look up Starly uh, Starly's entry Pokedex entry right here and as we know Starly's like in the very beginning of the Pokedex so we see Starly here and Starly is the Starling Pokemon they flock around mountains and fields chasing after bug Pokemon their singing is noisy and annoying <laughs> and it's a normal and flying type just like Chata actually and it's height is one one inch I guess and it says weight is 4.4. So it's actually like 8 inches shorter than um, Chatot. And it's like, ooh, hiccups. And it's like, um, I think like 2, 
two pounds less or so. Next up, we're gonna grab this. Awesome, we have a Bastiodon. on. So Bastiodon is awesome. These are all Gen 4 Pokemon, by the way. I asked the, the person who had all the figures if I could get all the Gen 4 figures that they have, or just most of them, because they were different poses that he have, had of them. So this is, here's Bastiodon. Yo, Bastiodon looks awesome. So we're gonna put Bastiodon right here. We're gonna look at Bastiodon. Bastiodon is actually um, one of my fun fun Pokemon I like to use. It's, it's one of my, I guess I could say it's one of my favorites. I use him kind of often if you guys seen my Showdown Battles. So his name is Bastion as I said. He is a shield Pokemon. He is rock and steel type. Any frontal attack is repulsed. Repulsed? It is a... Repulsed sounds like repulsive or... Hmm, I'm gonna go repulsed. Yeah, repulsed is, yeah, like it's basically pushed back. Repulsed. It is a docile Pokemon that feeds on grass and berries. Wow, and it's four inches in... Wait, it's four and nine. So four... Four feet? I guess it's four feet and three inches. Yeah, four feet and three inches. So that's not that's almost the size of this um box I'm gonna guess. And then um his weight is three hundred and twenty-nine pounds. Three hundred and twenty-nine point six pounds. Oh my god, that's so heavy. Um <laughs> So we're gonna pick up Awesome, we're gonna pick up Skuntank. Skuntank is awesome. I've used Skunk this is Pepe Lapeer right here. Skuntank is awesome. So here is it. Ooh. Skuntank is pretty cool. Oh my god, I just realized we have a lot of figures to go through. So hopefully I don't take too long. Maybe I'll speed up the process a bit. Um, so Skuntank is right over here in the Pokedex. And it's 435 on the Pokedex. Number 435. This is a national Pokedex I'm going off of in um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. If you guys want to know. It sprays a stinky fluid from its tail. The fluid smells worse than worse the longer it is allowed to fester. Ugh. So he's a skunk Pokemon, obviously. Or it's a skunk. Um, type... Poison and dark, and it's three feet tall and three inches tall. Wow, 83 pounds, 83.8 pounds. So he's well, miles of male. So I mean, he's um, I don't know. He's I don't understand if it's stats like 80, 83 pounds. Really? He's like about 84 pounds. But that's that's not that much weight. That's almost like I could pick it up almost. Well, people did say there's a problem with their weights in um. In Pokemon games, like the weight and stuff, it doesn't seem realistic enough or something. Well, anyway, we're gonna show off Yon Mega right here. Yon Mega, yo, Yon Mega is one of the, one of my favorites actually to use as well. I'm gonna say all of them are my favorite, honestly. So, yo, look at Yon Mega's wings. That's awesome. Yo, this is cool. Hmm. Bandai. So we have Yan Mega here, and we're gonna look up Yan Mega on our Pokedex as well. Uh, Yan Mega, I know, is near the end of the, po the Sinnoh Dex, because it's one of those Pokemon that are um, based off another Pokemon, which is Yanma from Gen 2. Nice and Johto. Uh, this, sick, this is. Oh wow, Yan Mega, the Ogre Darner Pokemon. This six legged Pokemon is easily capable of transporting an adult in flight. The wings on its tail help it, help it stay balanced. So it's six feet and three inches tall. Oh my god! So it's basically six three. That's insane. That's a huge six. Well, I mean, if it's like this, I'm guessing if it's like this, if it's like this, it's six. But I don't know if like this. That's insane. So yeah, I can. It's huge. Oh my god! It's huge. I can. I'm almost as tall as Yon Mega. I'm actually shorter than Yon Mega by like two inches. I could actually get on Yon Mega and ride. But it has those needle, those sharp things on its back. I don't know. But that's insane. It's 113.5 pounds. Yo, Yan Mega is a beast. It's huge. Oh my lord. That's scary. To see a friggin' like dragonfly looking thing big that big? It's insane. Next up we have Tangrowth. I don't even know if that's how it sounds. But yeah. So we have Tangrowth here. Pulling one hand up, smacking the other hand on the floor. Maybe it's using Earthquake. Who knows? Who does face? Hold up, let's see if we get it in there. So that's Yon, uh, it's Tangrowth there, I was gonna say Yon Mega, what the heck. So I know Yon Mega, um, ta, I said Yon Mega again. Uh, Tangrowth is actually near the end of the Pokedex as well because he is a, uh, evolution that came from Tangela, which is Gen 1. So we have Tangrowth, the vine Pokemon. It, its vines grow so profusely that it, in the warm season, you can't even see its eyes. <laughs> so it's six feet and seven inches tall, wow. Uh, its weight is 200, 283.5 pounds. Wow. 
I'm sure their weights can um differ, but I guess these are the ones. This is the one I have. It's going off of. I'm sure their weights could differ though. Ooh, next up we have Star Raptor. Star Raptor is awesome. I love Star Raptor. He's one of my favorite flying types. Not only because it's from Gen 4, but it, just because it has access to like different moves such as close combat and stuff. And um, he gets Brave Bird, which is not too different of a move. Woo! I think Star Raptor was was it the first to get Brave Bird or was it uh Swellow? I'm gonna say I feel like Swellow had Aerial Ace first. I don't remember using Brave Bird until like a long time after. I don't know. I could be lying to myself, but I remember. I feel like the first time I've seen Brave Bird in the anime was when when uh Ash's Star Raptor was like, ooh. So yeah, that's Star Raptor. Star Raptor looks amazing, and Star Raptor is actually in the beginning. Oh, so we have a Star Lee and a Star Raptor. Um. That's in the beginning of the Pokedex, so we're gonna look up Star Raptor. Star Raptor! Uh. It's 398 on the Pokedex. It's Star Raptor, the Predator Pokemon. When Staravia evolve into Star Raptor, they leave the flock to live alone. They have sturdy wings. Hmm. Uh, it's a normal and flying type. Its height is 3 in. Wow, 3 feet and 11 inches. Its weight is 54 pounds and 50.9. 54.9 pounds um so three inches three feet and 11 inches is really that's actually not tall that tall um but in terms of bulk because it is a bird type so it is a bird pokemon i said a bird type it's a bird pokemon so it may not actually be that big it's probably like this small if anything and then it, it's just when it flies it looks probably huge though seeing something that big in the sky especially if it's a bird insane Three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven figures here. Ooh, this is awesome. Nice and Cynthia. Again, oh my god. If I have any more for Pokemon, I'm going to put them with with my Cynthia figure. Oh my god. This is going to be awesome. I'm going to probably do something with them now. I'll probably post pictures. So we have Spiritomb, one of Cynthia's Pokemon here. And Spiritomb is an amazing Pokemon actually as well. It's one of those typings that didn't have a weakness until 6th uh, gen, right? That's the current gen we're in, 6th gen. Because 5 is black and white so yeah six gen and spirit to i know for sure is near the end of the pokedex because well yeah it's near the end of the pokedex i believe no it's in the middle i think it's in the middle because it's one of those pokemon you don't see until like cynthia here we go we have spirit tomb its number is what's your number 442 spirit tomb is the forbidden pokemon actually it was bound to a fissure in an odd keystone as punishment for misdeeds 500 years ago and it is a ghost and dark typing and its height is three feet and three inches hmm. so it's not not too far behind uh star raptor and it's 238.1 pounds oh my god that's heavy and it, well you know what it is in the odd keystone so it might actually be like a like the stone might actually be tremendously heavy um some people like the in the pokedex entry with has to deal with um it's it's other, it's other, it's other entry where it says something about a whole bunch of souls have been attached to the keystone. Odd keystone. I know there's like a whole bunch of souls in it. Some um, Davy Jones locker stuff. Now this isn't a fourth gen Pokemon, so hmm, this is. I mean, I guess I'll show it, but I I do show love to other gens, but like I'm not gonna um probably give it a Pokedex entry. But you guys know Shift Tree, because we were doing Gen Four stuff. So this is Shift Tree. You guys know Shift Tree. It's the third evolution. Well, the second evolution of Nuzleaf. Oh, my bad. Of C Dot. So it's, nu it's C Dot, Nuzleaf, then Shift Tree. So yeah. Oh, Shift Tree looks pretty cool, though. But that's definitely not a um, 4 Gen Pokemon. I would know that for sure. Um, no, I'm going to pick up the one I just touched. Yo, this is sick. I love the pose. Oh, almost dropped it. Um. So we have uh, Toxic Rogue here. I was gonna say Krogon. I think I have a Krogon somewhere in here. But this is Toxic Rogue. This is awesome. Yo, he's holding mud. It looks like he's holding Mud Bomb, like the move Mud Bomb. Cause there's, there's no move that's called Mud Ball. So yeah. Yo, Toxic Rogue looks amazing. Toxic Rogue is awesome in um, shiny form as well. So I look up Toxic Rogue on the Pokedex as well. Uh, let's see. Toxicroak was 454 on the Sinnoh decks. Well, in, in general, it's Toxicroak, the toxic mouth Pokemon. Its knuckle claws secrete a toxin so vile that even a scratch could prove fatal. Wow, that's pretty dangerous. Uh, 
he's a poison fighting type, as I said. I think I said that already. Um, he is four feet tall and three inches. Wow, he's kind of short. <laughs> uh, he weighs 97.9 pounds. He's not too um heavy either. Wow, he's about the size of like um maybe a per like a little baby or a toddler or something. I'm gonna. Ask. I don't think. I don't know. I feel like. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, we have Happini is actually um. A baby Pokemon that was introduced in 4 Gen as well. Happiny is so cute. Happiny. If you guys remember, we actually did use Happiny in the, like near the beginning of our um showdown Pokemon showdown uh, videos. We had her in Little Cup, and we named her because I'm. I think we either left her name as Happiny or we named her because I'm. Like you know, because I'm happy. Nice and Pharrell. Um, let's go backwards on the decks and. Habini is the 440th Pokemon. She is the Playhouse Pokemon. Female type. Female type. Female. I don't believe there's any other um, gender for Happini, actually, because I believe it's um, gender locked in a sense. Like, it's just specifically female, you know? Uh, so, that it's Pokedex entry says it carefully carries a round white rock that it thinks is an egg. It's bothered by how curly its hair looks. <laughs> <laughs> it's two feet tall and it's 53.8 pounds. See, that's more like a baby. That's more like a baby or a toddler or infant or something. You know, that's more like their height. Um, I mean, their pounds. I said height. Oh, wow. Funny that we picked this up because we just read Happy Knees Entry. So, we have Mr. Mime Jr. Or is it just Mime Jr.? I'm going to adjust myself because my leg is just like all types of all over the place. Um, I'm going to adjust my leg here. So yeah, um, Mime Jr. is awesome as well. This is actually from Mr. Mime is from first gen, so he's also uh, Mime Jr. is also a fairy type now, psychic and fairy type. Forgot to mention that um, Happiny is actually from first gen as well as being a Chansey. Happiny is the baby form of Chansey. If you guys didn't know, so we're gonna look for oh Mime Jr. should be right there. Yeah, Mime Jr. is right here. So it's not Mr. Mime Jr. It's Mime Jr. I actually have a female Mime Jr. Um, nicknamed Harley, like Harley Quinn, you know? Uh, so, it's the 439th Pokemon on the Pokedex. It is the Mime Pokemon, Psychic and Fairy Typing. It habitually mimics foes. Once mimicked, mimic, the foe cannot take its eyes off this Pokemon. Wow. Its height is 2 feet, and it weighs 28.7 uh, pounds. Wow. So, you know, Mr. Mime Jr. is pretty lightweight. Uh, awesome. So, we have another... Uh, set right here because we just sold skun tank off so now we have stunky which is pretty cool um stunky is the pre-evolved form of skun tank if you guys didn't know so this is little peppy the pew right here mini pew mini pew pew <laughs> so we're gonna look up uh peppy the pew little peppy the pew on young stank that's gonna be his nickname young stank i'm gonna nickname a stunky young stank <laughs> Okay, so we have Stunky the Skunk Pokemon. It's 434 on the Pokedex. Uh, its typing is Poison and Dark. It protects itself by spraying a noxious fluid from its rare. The stench lingers for 24 hours. 24 hours, a full day. So never get hit by by like any toxic or toxic fluids by like uh, Stunkies, because you're gonna be there for like oh, 24 hours smelling like crap. So we have its height, which is one foot and four inches tall. And its weight is 42. 0.3 pounds so wow he's actually not um that heavy he's about the size of one of my dumbbells um i mean since we touched this pokemon we're gonna pick it up and we've actually been using this pokemon recently well that's the fourth wall broken right there i'm actually recording this way earlier uh in september so you guys are seeing this in october but yeah so we're currently if you guys know i'm saying currently but it's far now from it's far from now that um i'm i was using the mega Manetric team and Sunday, our Empoleon is on that team. So, yo, look at Empoleon's pose. The hand and all. It's like bow down before the Emperor right here. Empoleon's really cool. I love all three of the starters. I remember when I had a problem with all three. Of the, it's so weird. I actually had a problem with all three of the starters. Um, except for Turtwig, I think. I think I actually like Turtwig a little bit. And I actually, fun fact, I didn't actually get to pick Turtwig as my starter when I first got Pokemon Diamond because three of, I had, it was me and my friends, there's three of us and we all we, I got Diamond, my friend got Pearl I believe and my other friend got Diamond as well I think and what, I wound up, what wound, winded up happening was that I had to choose 
Piplup because they chose Chimchar and Turtwig. Later on though, I got to train my friend on um, an egg, a uh, Piplup, a uh, Piplup egg, and a for a Turtwig egg, and I finally got Turtwig. So I always wanted Turtwig after I saw the last evolution. I really wanted it. I thought it was pretty cute from the start, but I kind of had a thing with all three stars. Like I didn't like all of them at first, and I got used to them. And I really, really adore all of them now. Um, I think I had that same problem with uh, Gen 5. I love all three of the starters now. Um, their final forms can... I, I don't really have a particular taste in them, but I love all three of their uh, beginning evolutions. Um, so, Empoleon is 395 on the Pokedex. It is the Emperor Pokemon, obviously, and its typing is Water and Steel. The three horns that extend from its beak attest to the, its power. The leader has the biggest horns. Ooh, that's pretty cool. So its height is 5 feet and 7 inches. Wow. And it weighs 186.3 pounds. So it's 5 feet tall. I'm a bit taller than Napoleon, which is funny. <laughs> um, but some people say it's supposed to be like a derivation of, I guess, uh, Napoleon and how Napoleon was kind of short. So it kind of has... It's short, but it has this dominating sense of it. I always love Napoleon's design with the uh, it looks like it's almost wearing like a handkerchief almost, but it's not. I don't know. That's just me. Ooh, and we have another pre-evolved form. Shieldon, and we already saw a Bastion earlier. Uh, so Shieldon's here. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my god. I never noticed how sh uh, cute Shieldon was. But I, I have to use Shieldon in um, a, a Little Cup battle. I don't think I've used him in Little Cup. Uh, so we're going to check the Pokedex for him. He's fairly early in the Pokedex, actually, because we face uh, Rourke early in the game. Um, but he doesn't have shield on, I don't think he has shield on. I know he has a Kranidos, and that's his ace, and he has a Geodude, I think, so he doesn't have it, but... Shield on is 410, but his father does have a Bastion on. His name slips my mind for some odd reason. Byron. Byron, in Canalev City. So, uh, shield on is 410 on the Pokedex, and he's shield, he's the shield Pokemon, just as, uh, Bastion on was. His typing is rock and steel. It was generated... Generated from a fossil dug out of a layer of clay that was older than anyone knows. It has a sturdy face. Huh. Its height is 1 feet and 8 inches. Its weight is 125.7 pounds. So even though it's so small, it weighs a ton. So, like, funny funny thing is, I guess most of the people in the Pokemon world don't know that they're, like, really, really strong. Because they pick up these Pokemon, these little Pokemon sometimes, and they weigh a bunch. And they just hold them like this in their hands. I'm like, oh my god. So there, there's some people who hold shield downs probably in that, in that show and in... They weigh a ton. Oh, this is awesome! So we're gonna pick up Giggle, G Giggle, Gibble. <laughs> I have to name a Gibble that. Look at the face. Look at the look at the animation on his face. That is his face. Looks like a South Park character. So Gibble is amazing. I love Gibble. You guys know it evolves into the mighty Garchomp, one of the most competitive Pokemon in the game to this day. So little Gibble here. Uh, it's gonna be right here. If um if you guys remember, Ash ha actually had a Gibble in Sinnoh. He caught Gibble and it never evolved. But it did learn uh, Draco Meteor, which was really interesting because you can't actually typically teach a Gibble uh, Draco Meteor in the game. It's fun fact. It has to be fully evolved, I believe. And actually has to like you too. Anyway, we have Gibble, the 443rd Pokemon on the Pokedex. It is the Land Shark Pokemon, and its typing is Dragon and Ground. It nests in small horizontal holes in cave walls. It pounces to catch prey that stray too close. Hmm. Its height is 2 feet. It's two, it's two feet tall and f four inches. It weighs 45.2 pounds. That's the size, that's almost really close to the size of my uh, weight. Um, so I picked this guy up, so, oh, this is one of my, one of my Pokemon that I've definitely used in one of my battles. I'm sure you guys have seen this. Magmortar, do I have a nickname for Mag? I don't even know if I have a Magmortar nickname, but I know Nappy likes to call his Magmars Titduck. Um, so yeah, the Magmortar looks awesome. Look at his face. Some people don't like him because of his, I guess his head, it looks like a butt. Some people say he's a butt pirate. <laughs> he's really cool. Fire pirate, I would probably nickname him. I forgot his actual nickname that I gave him though. I know I gave him the flame on his chest and the flame on his head. Wow. Nice and one of those, Um, he's one of those evolutions that stem from Johto. At, well, technically Johto has Mag B, the baby Pokemon, and Kanto is Gen 1, which has uh, Magmar. So it stems from both of those regions, technically, so it should be later in the decks, or near the middle. Near the, near, near the end, near the end, not too far from the end of the decks. So yeah, Magmortar is 467 on the Pokedex, and it is the Blast Pokemon. Ooh, and it's fire typing. Pure fire type. It blasts fireballs up over 3,600 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Wow, that's really, that's really hot. Out of its arms, its breath also sears and sizzles. Ooh, hot breath right there. <laughs> so its height is five feet and three inches tall. Wow, and it weighs 149.9 pounds. It's not too far from my weight. Wow. Um, so what's interesting about Mega Mortar is that, um, it's five feet, so I'm taller than, it's not too far off of Empoleon type. Next up, we are going to bring out Elsa. My, I like to nickname my Glaceon's Elsa for obvious reason, reasons, because of ice, you know, frozen in the movie. So it's awesome to see Glaceon here. I'm going to show you, yeah, I'm showing you the butt. <laughs> Glaceon's so cute. Glaceon! Glace! So Glaceon's one of those evolutions. Another Pokemon actually that uh, stems from Eevee and from Gen 1 actually, because Eevee is a Gen 1 Pokemon. Glaceon should be near Magmortar actually in the decks. So Glaceon is right here, 471 in the Pokedex. Uh, fresh Snow Pokemon, it, its typing is pure ice, it's ice type. It lowers its body heat to freeze its fur. The hairs then become like needles, it can fire ice. Oh, look, 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 look. Uh, Game Freak and Nintendo, check this out. Ice needle. But then again, I, why? Wait, why doesn't Glaceon get Ice School Crash? Just by reading this, it should get Ice School Crash. Then there would be more uh, uh, physical variants, probably. I don't know. Banded. I guess Choice Banded uh, Glaceon would be a thing. Its height is two inches, <laughs> two feet and seven inches. I can never imagine a physical Glaceon. That's why I was laughing. But I would love to see it. I know it gets Ice Shard too, and it weighs fifty-seven point one pounds. So that's see that's. It's a little bit heavy, but it's kind of like believable though. 57.1 pounds. It's really believable. So next up we have Togekiss, the one that everyone hates. This is Grace. Not people, not everyone hates Togekiss, but I'm saying people don't like Togekiss for the whole, um, uh, Serene Grace, uh, Thunder Wave, woo, Thunder Wave thing. And then the Air Slash, which always almost snags a flinch. So Togekiss is one of those awesome Pokemon. I love Togekiss. Grace is, was actually on our... Um, uh, Agron team, our Mega Agron team. Oh, I love the Mega Agron team. So we're gonna check out Tokus. Tokus should be right near Glaceon, actually, as well. Uh, so yeah, Tokus is 468 on the Pokedex, and it says it shares many blessings with people who respect one another's rights and avoid needless strife. Wow, that was bars. Tokus has bars. Bars on. It's the Jubilee Pokemon, and its typing is Fairy and Flying. Its height is 4 feet tall and 11 inches. It weighs 83.8 uh, pounds. So it's not that heavy, but it's uh, kind of heavy in a, in a way as well. It's not too heavy, but it's, yeah. Next up, we're going to pick up this guy right here. Ooh! Oh, I hope we have more of the Rotoms. We have Rotom Heat Easy Bake. Nice and easy bake oven right here. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen me use Rotom Heat on the channel. I probably have with my... Gar oh, yeah, it's on my Garchomp team. My Mega Garchomp team. So Rotom Heat... Is awesome. It's nice and defensive wall right there. So we're gonna check out Rotom. I forgot to mention that Tokus is actually from Gen 2, actually, in terms of it being Togepi first, then Togetic. And Togepi was introduced in Gen 2. So yeah. It's up for Rotom. So Rotom in generally all its forms get a um general generali generali generalization, I guess. Um so it says growth on the plasma Pokemon. It gets, yeah, but it says electric and water typing because Rotom Wash is here, but it's actually fire, it's fire and electric, well, electric and fire type because it's uh, primary typing is electric. Its body is composed of plasma. It is known to infiltrate electronic devices and wreak havoc. Its height is one foot. It's literally straight up just one foot tall and it weighs 0 0.7 pounds. Oh my God. It's literally weighs nothing. So I wonder if it gains weight when, it's, when it eats like Pokemon food and stuff. Like those little blocks you see in uh, Pokemon. Um. Ooh, next up we got Gastron. So this is the actually part of Cynthia's team. Oh my God! Wait. So is Togekiss and Glaceon. Wow. Togekiss and Glaceon are part of um Cynthia's team. So Glaceon's actually one of her teammates in um I believe Unova. Once you face her in Unova, in uh what Lacunosa? Is it Lacunosa Town? I forgot the name of the town that you fight her in, but that was one of my favorite places to be in um. Unova. So Gastrodon, nice and I think this is actually the one that she has too. So we have Gastrodon here. I know Nappy likes to call his Gastrodon's um Cindy. So shout out to Nappy and Cindy. So Gastrodon is one of the awesome Pokemon Sino as well. Its typing is I'm telling you already, its typing is water and ground. It's quad effective um 
weakness to grass, but regardless of that, it's a um, beast. And I do believe you do see um uh, shallows in the very beginning, near the very beginning. So here we go. Gastron is 420 degree on the Pokedex. Uh, it's a Sea Slug Pokemon, West Sea. This is the West Sea one. It's water and ground, as I said. The typing. It apparently had a huge shell for protection in ancient times. It lives in shallow tidal pools. Wow. Its height is two feet and 11 inches. It weighs 65.9 pounds. So wow, it's actually not that tall. Wow, it's pretty close to the floor. It is it's almost like sl a slug, so it's you know, always on the floor. Um, very low. Um, so next up we have, ooh, another pre-evolved form. We have Printplub. So Printplub is the pre-evolved form of Empoleon. And, uh, yeah, pre-evolved form of Empoleon and the evolution of, uh, Piplup. So, this is Sunday's little form. I call this one Mrs. Raindrop. I know I have her, uh, with Eevee Light, Mrs. Raindrop. Um, so let's look her up. She's obviously in the beginning because she is a starter. Uh, so Print Club here, 394 on the Pokedex, the Penguin Pokemon. It is pure water typing right here. It lives a solitary life. Its wings deliver wicked blows that can snap even the thickest of trees. Yo, Print Club is powerful. Height is 2 feet tall and 7 inches. It weighs 50.7 pounds. Not bad. Uh, so we're going to pick up another Pokemon here. Woo! So we have um, another pre-evolved form uh, and an evolution as well. So this is the evolved form of Starly and the pre-evolved form of Staraptor. So I think we have all three of the of their forms. Yeah, we have Staraptor, uh, Starly, and Staravia. Well, Starly, Star Staravia, Staraptor. There we go. So, yo, Staravia is awesome. When Ash first got Staravia, I was just like, that's it looks cool. It may look simple, but it's amazing. That's the thing with Star, uh, Star, Star, Starly's whole evolution. At first, it looks uh, really simple. And then, once it evolves into Star Raptor, oh my god, just amazing. That Mohawk. And we do know that Star Ravia is in the beginning, so it's 397 on the Pokedex. Starling Pokemon. It lives in forests and fields. Squabbles over territory occur when flocks collide. So it's a normal and flying typing. Its height is 2 feet tall, straight. And weight is 34.2 pounds. Next up, we got another Pokemon here. Oh, this is a final evolution, actually. We have a Garchomp, but you know the Garchomp I got over there with Cynthia is more powerful than this one, but it's still cool to have another Garchomp featured here. So we have Garchomp here. Nice and OU. That's like I, like I was saying before, it's really one of those Pokemon that still run rampant in uh, Pokemon to this day. So Garchomp looking awesome here. Uh, we're going to put this down, and we just dropped somebody. That was um, Staraptor. So we're gonna go to uh, Garchomp. So I'm gonna say Gibble. I think I have a Gibble here somewhere too. So we're gonna go straight into Garchomp on the Pokedex, which is right near uh, Spirit Tomb. So here we go. Garchomp is the 445th Pokemon. It is a mock Pokemon, and its typing is Dragon and Ground. It flies at a speed equal to a jet fighter plane. It never allows its prey to escape. Wow. Its height is six. This is believable. Six feet tall and three inches. It weighs 209.4. Four pounds so Garchomp is close is actually um, two inches taller than me so I wouldn't I can't imagine it not being that height you know next up we have Carnivine Carnivine we have Carnivine here Carnivine is actually really cool I've used Carnivine in a free balls with my friends Carnivine is awesome I love Carnivine they, they take him lightly but he, he wrecks shop I love Carnivine actually James in the Diamond and Pearl series in the anime he actually got a Carnivine and I think it went way back with him if anything, I think he had a story with his Carnivine and went way back. And, like, he just picked it up when he went to Sinnoh, and it was just there with him. <laughs> so, it is the 455th Pokemon on the uh, Pokedex. It is the Bug Catcher Pokemon, and it's grass type, nice and pure typing. It, blind it binds itself to trees and marshes. It attracts prey with its sweet smelling drool and gulps them down. <laughs> oh my god, its height is 4 feet tall and 7 inches, while it weighs 59.5 pounds. Next up, we're gonna pick up a ooh a Gabite. So we do have Gabite. So I think we officially have all of the evolutionary line of Gibble. So we have a Gabite here, nice and powerful Gabite. Nice and powerful Gabite. I've seen Gabite used in um lower tiers like NU and stuff or PU. So we're gonna check up Gabite. I've never actually got the honor of using Gabite yet, but I think I I can breed one. I think I have one bred. Doubt it, but I can check. Uh, so Gabite here is 444 on the Pokedex actually, nice and straight fours. 
uh, it's dragon and ground as well. It is the cave Pokemon. As it digs to expand its nest, it habitually digs up gems that it that it then hoards in its nest. Yo, treasure seeker or treasure hunter right there. Nice and pirate. It's a pirate, yo. Its height is four feet tall and seven inches. Wow. It weighs 123.5 pounds. It doesn't look that heavy, but it weighs that much. Uh, so next up, we have the Pokemon I just picked up. So I picked this up, so I'm going to put him in here. Yuxi, one of the uh, beings of Sinnoh. It's one of the beings. I believe this is the being of wisdom, right? Or knowledge. Oh, knowledge. I believe Yuxi is the being of knowledge. So I check up no the uh, Yuxi. Yuxi should be late in the game as well because it is officially a legendary. So Yuxi is knowledge Pokemon. Yep, the being of knowledge. Uh, so its typing is pure psychic typing. Wow. And it is said that its emergence gave humans the intelligence to improve their quality of life. Go figure. And it's one it's one foot tall. But like if it were to land on the floor, it's usually floating, but if it's on the floor, it would be one feet one foot tall. Oh my god. Looks like a little alien when you look at it. Um it weighs seven pounds. Oh my lord. Seven pounds straight. Um We picked up this Pokemon now. Frostlass is awesome. I think I have a name for Frostlass. I don't remember if I do or don't. But I'm gonna check my Poke my uh, teams. So Frostlass is awesome. Some people call Frostlass Elsa as well. Wow, our video is almost 40 minutes long. Almost a full hour. Um so we're gonna check up Frostlass real quick. We're near the end too. We don't have many figures left, so sad face, but this is fun to record. Cause I don't get to do stuff like this very often. So I'm glad you guys are enjoying this Pokemon merchandise series. I hope you guys are enjoying it at least. Uh so Frostlass is a Snowland Pokemon. Legends in Snowy regions say that a woman who was lost on an icy mountain was reborn as Frostlass. So, so, so it originally was actually a person. That's scary. So ice, it's an ice and ghost type Pokemon. Its height is 4 feet tall and 3 inches. It weighs 58.6 pounds. Wow. Um, the more you know, I never knew that actually. And it was prior prior to its being a Pokemon was actually a person. And so we have Drifloon. I know you guys have seen me use Drifloon, I believe, on the on the channel. I think I've used Drifloon in the past. Drifloon is awesome. Fantina has Drifloon. Um, so we're gonna check up Drifloon. Drifloon shouldn't be too far back in the uh, Pokedex. Uh, let's see. Drifloon's right near the beginning, not too far from the beginning. Um, here we go. Drifloon is the 425th Pokemon the Pokedex. It is the Balloon Pokemon. It's Ghost and Flying type. Its height is one foot tall and four inches. Uh, it weighs 2.6 pounds, and as I said, it's a balloon Pokemon. These Pokemon are called the signposts for wandering spirits. Children holding them sometimes vanish. Now that's one of the scariest um, Pokedex entries I've read because they take they take people away, take little kids, not even people, just straight up just children. Just children. Oh, is that a balloon? Farewell. <laughs> anyway, we have Krogunk here. So this actually is a pre-evolution of Krogunk. So we have. No, Krogunk is a pre-evolution of Toxic Oak. Uh, I have Toxic Oak here already, so we have two. Then look at his punching. That's what he used to do to Brock. Poison Jab Brock. If you, go to, if you guys ever watched the uh, anime, you'd know what I'm talking about. Like, Brock actually got a Krogunk during the series. It never evolved into a Toxic Oak. It would have been amazing if it did. But it used to either Brick Break or Poison Jab him. And then I think it was a Poison Jab it used to give him. And then he would just fall to the floor. He used to do that when uh, Brock started flirting with uh, Nurse Joy or Officer Jenny. We just, boom, knock him out. For a quick second, uh, so we're gonna look up Crow Gunk on the Pokedex. Let's see here, Crow Gunk should be not too far from Carnivine. There we go. So Crow Gunk is 453 in the Pokedex actually, and it's um the toxic mouth Pokemon as well, and it's poison and fighting type. It's it says for the Pokedex entry, inflating its poison sacks, it fills the area with an odd sound and it hits flinching opponents with a poison jab. That's Brock. You stay just Brock with a poison jab. <laughs> so its height is two feet four inches. It's pretty it's not that tall, it's a little small. It looks believable though. It's like a little little Pokemon, you know? Weight is fifty point seven pounds. Hmm. So next up we have Electivire. Nice and Paul. Paul's ace right here. Electivire. Ooh, I like the fire. Looks awesome. Look at that pattern. Look at that pattern on his chest. Ooh, so cool. And look at the gesture of its hand, just jutting out. And the back is always awesome too. Let's see if I can put it on my finger. I can't. So I'm gonna go like this. 
if you guys really look hard at it in the back, you would notice that it looks like a um a outlet, like an outlet you just plug into. If you if you guys didn't understand what I'm saying, you will go back a few minutes, a few seconds, and you can see it. Uh, so Electivire is right over here somewhere in the Pokedex. It's not too far from Krogunk. Uh, here we go. It's near the end as well, because it's one of those third evolutions uh, from Elect the Buzz, which was in Kanto, and then it's um, Elect, Elect Kid from Johto. You got a baby form. So it's the Thunderbolt Pokemon, and it's pure electric typing. It, it pushes the tips of its two tails against the foe, then lets loose with over 20,000 volts of power. Wow. Its height is 5 feet tall and 11 inches. It weighs 305.6 pounds. So it's 5 feet? I'm taller than Electivire, but not as bulky. So when it stands next to me, it'll probably look bigger than me. Um, awesome. Next up, we have a Magnezone. Magnezone, I believe, I've used in one of my teams. Um, probably my Mega Pinsir team, I believe. Magnezone's awesome. Magnezone actually has a little tail. It's a magnet. Wow. Its tail's a magnet. Boom. So Magnezone's pretty cool. Uh, oh no, don't fall. Um, so Magnezone should be pretty close to um to um Electivire because it's the third one of those third evolutions. There we go. So it's 462 in the Pokedex, and it's the Magnet Area Pokemon. Um, it's Electric and Steel typing. It evolved from exposure to a special magnetic field. Three units generate magnetism. Its height is 3 feet and 11 inches, while it weighs 396.8 inches. I mean, 396.8 pounds. Uh, and that's believable because it's a steel type and it's pretty heavy. Um, ooh, next up we have Gliscor. Glice, Gliscor. So, there's the tail and, well, that's the that's the hand and the tail's right here. That's in Gliscor's tail. And, yo, Gliscor is freaking awesome. I love the eyes. I always love Gliscor's eyes. My female Gliscor is named Nisa. That's a, a reference to Green Arrow or just Arrow to show. Nisa, she's like from, she's a, you know, scorpion. You guys don't know what I'm talking about if you guys watch Arrow. Um, so yeah, Gliscor is one of my favorite Pokemon actually. He evolved from a Gligar, which is from uh, Gen 2, Nice and Johto region. Uh, so we're going to look for Gliscor. He should be near the end too, actually. Yep, right near Glaceon. So it's 472 in the Pokedex. It's the Fang Scorpion Pokemon, and its typing is ground and flying. It fly. Its flight is soundless. Oh my God! It's. It uses its lengthy tail to carry off its prey. Then its elongated fangs do the rest. Oh my God! That is a terrifying. Um, Pokedex entry. Its height is six feet and seven inches tall. That is a tall, tall Pokemon. I'm guessing that's when it stands on its tail, at six feet. That's believable. But if it stands on its own and it's six feet tall. Heck no, I ain't standing that. 93.7 pounds it weighs, so wow. Uh, whoo, oh my god, oh my god, so we picked up Turtwig, oh my god. I love Turtwig, you guys know I adore the whole evolutionary line of Turtwig, and I love Turtwig, it's my favorite Pokemon. The whole evolutionary line of Torterra is my, or Turtwig rather, is my favorite, it's my favorite Pokemon right there. Turtwig, Grottle, and Torterra, you guys know I love it. Yo, Turtwig is so cute. Oh my god, look at his face! Oh. He's like laying down. <laughs> he's laying down. How he looks, he looks like he's laying down. Alright, so... We all know that he's a starter. He's the first... He's actually the first Pokedex entry in the Sinodex because he's the grass type of... The starter Pokemon. Grass type of the region, rather. Uh, Turtwig is a tiny leaf Pokemon. It undertakes photosynthesis with its body, making oxygen. The leaf on its head wilts if it is thirsty. So that's how you guys will know. 101 uh, with um, Roxas Zorotera. Once you see a Turtwig leaf on top of its head wilting, you know it's, it's thirsty. It needs to drink. It needs to drink. So it's the pure grass typing right now, and its height is one foot. It's one foot tall and four inches. Oh my god, 22.5 pounds. Oh my god, I would love to hold a Turtwig IRL. I would love that. Um, so next up, we're gonna pick up a Weavile. So Weavile is awesome. Weavile is one of those competitive Pokemon that are still that's in the uh, games still now today, just wreaking, wrecking uh, people's lives and wreaking havoc. I should nickname my Weavile that uh, Havoc. I like that name, Havoc. Ooh, Havoc is nice. So Weavile has a nice uh, gesture here. I like its face. So we're gonna look up Weavile. Uh, wow, we're almost pushing an hour. I haven't done this for a while. The last time I did a, I feel like I did an hour was when I was doing certain episodes for um 
the Platinum Nuzlocke. Platinum Randomized Nuzlocke. Let's see, where would Weavile be on the decks? He is also a third evolution, but he's not in the end. I know he's in the beginning. Not in the beginning, but like... He should be near Magnazone, right? There we go, Weavile, the 461st Pokemon on the Pokedex, Sharp Claw Pokemon, Dark and Ice Typing. They live in cold regions, forming groups of four or five that hunt prey with impressive coordination. Its height is three feet and seven inches tall, it, while it weighs 75.0 pounds, so it's straight 75 inches, uh, pounds rather, not inches. Uh, so next up, we're gonna pick this guy up. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, Torterra! Oh, I freaking love Torterra. You guys already know, as I said just now, that Torterra and Torterra and Grottle are my favorite Pokemon. This is my favorite. I adore. I simply adore him. I don't know why. I just love him. Look at his freaking tree on his back. Freaking adore this guy. You see him? Do you see this? Yo, Torterra is one of the best Pokemon. Nintendo's ever made or Game Freak has ever made. Ken Mori did the art for this Pokemon. He's one of the best Pokemon he's ever made. I don't know why I love it so much. I just love it. So that's Turtwig and Torterra. So we're gonna look up Torterra right now. Oh my god. Torterra is one of my I just love him so much. You already you guys already know it's in my name of my YouTube account. Um so Torterra is a 389th Pokemon on the Pokedex. He is the continent Pokemon. He is grass and ground typing. And he is sm small Pokemon occasionally gather on its unmoving back to begin building their nest. So I believe it keeps its back steady and, and when it walks, you know? So it, you can't really feel like you're moving through that balance. So its height is, wow, its height is 7 feet tall and 3 inches. And it weighs 683.4 pounds. It's heavy as... I don't know, heavy as something, but I could sit on Torterra. He's huge. You know how tall that he's seven feet, seven feet tall, right? Seven feet tall. That's huge. We're gonna bring this down a bit so you guys can see everybody. Ooh, that's powerful. You see everybody? Fourth gen, right here, right here. Um. So next up we have. Ooh, snow, snow run, snowver. I was gonna say snow run, snowver. Snowver is awesome, and you guys already know that's funny because we just. Actually, uh, did our Mega Abomas Snow team. So Snore is a pre evolved form of Abomas Snow. We're gonna check up. Um, we're gonna check up Snowrun's Pokedex entry. Actually, uh, so here we go. Snow, like Snowrun, Snowver, Snowver. I keep saying Snowrun. So 459 on the Pokedex, and it's Frost Street Pokemon. It's a Grass and Ice typing, and in the spring, it grows berries with the texture of frozen treats around its belly. Ooh, and its height is. Three feet tall while being three inches. It weighs 111.3 pounds. Wow. One's everywhere. Ooh, nice and powerful. Next up we have Rampardos. Nice and Rourke. Rampardos. Ooh, look at that tail. Look at that color scheme. I love the color scheme. I always love the color scheme of um, Rampardos and Cranidos. That black and blue grayish type and the red eyes and the white spikes. So cool. Um, now, Rampardos is one of the beginning Pokemon as well because, as I said, Cranidos is in the beginning with Rourke. Uh, so Rampardos should be right near Shieldon as well. Here we go, we found Rampardos. It's shiny, it's actually red, so... Rampardos is the headbutt Pokemon, it's typing as rock. Its skull is as hard as iron. It is a brute that tears down jungle trees while catching prey. Its height is 5 feet tall and 3 inches while it weighs 226 pounds straight. Uh, fun fact, Rampardos has one of the most, uh, high base attacks in the game. So yeah, we're gonna pick this guy up because we picked it up first. Woo! Nice, and Palkia! Palkia, nice and legendary. Oh my lord. Nice and legendary. You see the tail there. And Palkia is, you already know, nice in space. I have, I have to do a, I actually have to do a, um, Pearl Nuzlocke on this channel. I've done a Platinum Nuzlocke. I've never played, funny, a funny thing, I've never played Pearl, ever. I love Sinnoh to death, I've never played Pearl. I've played Diamond and Platinum. I've never got to play Pearl. So I own Pearl, I actually recently bought Pearl, it's whole, the game and everything, the box, I got the box, I got all three of the games in, in real life again because I lost my diamond, my diamond got corrupted when I was younger, and as it got corrupted, I actually sold it um, to games, to Game Crazy or GameStop at the time, whichever one it was I was at, it was Game Crazy, and I gave it in and put the money towards Platinum, which came out that same day, and I bought Platinum that day. Platinum I had for a very long time, and then eventually it got lost, like, I don't know how it got lost, somewhere in my other house. Um, 
Bakia is a legendary, obviously, so it's 440, 484 on the Pokedex. It's a spatial Pokemon, and it is water and dragon typing. It has the ability to distort space. It is described as a deity in Sinnoh region mythology. Uh, its height is 13 feet and 9 inches tall. Oh my god. It weighs 740.8 pounds. <laughs> 13 feet tall? Insane! And since we picked that guy up, we just picked up this guy too. Nice and Dialga. Rawr, look at that face. Nice and roar of time. He's doing roar of time right here. Yo, Dialga is powerful, yo. I always love the color scheme on Dialga. That's why I picked the game to get. So Dialga is right next to Palkia. It is 433, 483 on the Pokedex. It is a temporal Pokemon being steel and dragon typing. It has the power to control time. It appears in Sinnoh region myths as an ancient deity. Its height is 17 feet and 9 inches tall, while it weighs 1,505.8 pounds. It weighs even more than Palkia, and it's like freaking, what, 6, it's 13, 6, 7, 8, I don't know, it's like 4, it's like 400, no, it's like, not 400, it's 4, it's like 4 feet taller than freaking Palkia, which is insane. And since we picked that guy up, you already know what we're picking up. Nice and Garatina. Nice and Platinum. Woo! Garatina is this origin form? No, this is regular form because it has its legs. If it was origin form, it wouldn't have legs. Garatina is amazing. Garatina is one of the most amazing Pokemon that was ever made and for all Pokemon in general. I love Garatina. Nice and Distortion. There goes the tail, actually. Uh, so we're going to put Garatina down. And we're gonna check it up on the Pokedex. It's pushing an hour now. Wow. Uh, so Giratina should be here. There we go. Giratina is uh, the Renegade Pokemon. It has an altered form. This is altered form. So origin form is originally its regular form. That's what's called origin form. And it's a ghost and dragon typing. It was banished for its violence. It silently gazed upon the old world from the distortion world. And as I said, it's a ghost and dragon typing. Its height is 14 feet and 9 inches tall, while it weighs 1,653.5 pounds. It's actually not taller than Dialga. Fun fact, Dialga is actually taller than Palkia. I mean, Palkia and Garatino. But yeah. Oh my god. My favorite legendary. My favorite legendary. Nice and Shaman. Nice and Shay Shay. Shaman is so cute. Oh my god. Look at Shaman. I wouldn't mind getting a plushie of Shaman. Love Shay Shay. This is Shay Shay right here. So we're gonna put Shaman down. And I definitely have um Shaman in this game, so it's Pokedex entry should be right after a few a few uh down a few um entries after uh Giratina. So here we go. Shaman is the gratitude Pokemon, and this is land form we're reading. Type is grass and the blooming of Gris Gracida flowers. Gracidia flowers? I think it's Gracida. Gracidia? Or Grac Gracidia flowers? Confers the power of flight upon it. Feelings of gratitude are the message it delivers. Height is 8 inches. Oh my lord, it's so friggin' small. I would love to pick it up. It's 4.6 pounds. It's so cute. Ooh, next up we got Heatran. Oh my god, this is powerful. Holy crap. Heatran's powerful. Oh my lord. Heatran's face. Yo, that fire in front of it. Powerful. Um, so we're gonna put you here. Uh, let's move this hair a bit. Uh, okay. So that's the entry for Shaman as I read. And we're gonna get into Heat Trans. We have one last one after this. And we're gonna be done with this video. Wow. This is 153 minutes. Wow. The Heat Trans is a Lava Dome Pokemon. It's fire and steel typing. Boiling blood like magma circulates through its body. It makes its dwelling place in volcanic caves. Uh, its height is 5 feet tall and 7 inches, while its weight is 948.0 pounds, so straight 948, 948. And last but not least, nice and dark rye. Nice and dark rye. Nice and patters, I, I believe. That's patters is, um, uh, favorite Pokemon, I'm guessing. I don't know, because he has that as the avatar. So yeah, nice and dark rye. Dark rye. The movie was amazing. The rise of dark rye. Nice and powerful name, too. I'm gonna put Darkrai in the center, I guess, right here. Uh, so I'm gonna look up Darkrai. Darkrai was actually an event Pokemon in Ken Love City in Diamond and Pearl. So Darkrai is the 491st Pokemon on the Pokedex. It is the pitch black Pokemon, type being dark. Food of Dust! 
Who would have guessed? It can lull people to sleep and make them dream. It is active during nights of the new moon. Wow, it's 4 feet and 11 inches tall, while its weight is 111.3 pounds. And with that, as you guys can see, all the Sinnoh power here. Ooh, nice and powerful. Everybody here. Nice and Sinnoh. You know where it's at. Right here. Roxas and Sorterra, the Sinnoh champion right here. Taking over for Cynthia while she's going. Just saying. Just saying. Anyway, I'm going to get the heck out of here. Mock punch the heck out of like button. Like it in front of Break it, destroy it, do whatever you want with it. Just don't hit the dislike button because it'll make me really sad if you do. And this was a really fun video. It was very long, I might add, but it was really fun. I'm probably going to post some pictures of Cynthia with the guard chomp and her spirit tomb and all these Pokemon that work with her. So catch check check out my um my Instagram and my um Twitter. My Instagram is Mr. Extreme 13. So if you guys can check it out, I do have some personal photos on there with some friends and I guess some family as well, I think. And some stuff that I'm uh, doing for Comic Con. Actually, I'm starting for this year's Comic Con in New York. So yeah, I'm gonna be uh, being a survey corpse from uh, Attack on Titan. I have the cloak already, and I'm just putting together some other stuff that I have in my house to make it look a little bit more better than what it is. And I'm gonna have to pick a weapon that I want as well. Cause I don't have the blades, but you guys already know. I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna have pictures of that as well on uh, Twitter. So with that, I'm gonna get out of here.